Right, hello, back again, and we are looking at the second game with Ares against Jimster, and they're playing on Breastfest. First, let's take a look at um, Jimster Hex's deck. He's gone for 26 Panzer, and good amount of recon coming in here, which does make sense because there's lots of places to hide on Breastfest. Gorilla, all good. The Yags, as I keep saying, I'm a big fan of these. I would prefer to take them in B just to get more of them, but yeah. If he wants them in A, he wants them in A. Because you've got the, the Panzer threes to deal with stuff in A. He's got his Panthers here, hoping to press down on the long range. Do some work there. Uh, Famos, um, lots of people are against these things. I think they can do reasonably well. You, you do need to resupply them, though. They are a pain for that. Everything else is sort of 20 mils, so yeah. Yeah, Gepards. I kind of like these things. They're alright. For 50 points, you can double vet them, get 6 in B, and make them worth their while. You can also do some work on um, infantry. But these guys are the, the main boys for, for shooting stuff from the sky, so the air could be a bit of an issue. He's not gone heavy into the air play. He's got these big boom Italian bombers. Sagittari double vetted. Yeah, bad resilience, so he could lose those very early on if he's not careful. And uh, Fucker Wolf bombers. Good options. There's two cars of these. I would probably go for two cars of these wings, to be honest. Fairly decent. Uh, the Stug M43 as well for the long range. Not Yeah, he's going to be able to outrange his opponent. Fairly well, and Verframen, two of those in B, two Hummels in B. In A, no mortars, no kind of, no kind of help there. This looks like a, a kind of deck which is used in quick play probably. I don't think he's changed it much. Because yeah, Panzer Shreks, I guess they're always useful on Breast West to be honest. Stern Pioneer, it looks like he has changed it actually, I take that back. He's got four Stern Pioneer, Flamers double vetted in A, and a Pioneer in A. And then MG 34s in A, one star. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Because these things, they can. Oh, no, 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 they can't find a class here. M26, isn't it? But the this is decent anyway. Yeah, with it, 12 and 8 veterans, so that's good. So, solid infantry in A. Sostrup in B with a Beretta, very nice. More pioneers as well. So, yeah, looking. If we just have a look in solid. Um, yeah. All round, nothing much more to say about that. Looks good. So let's go and take a look at Ares tab. All right, here we are. Well, not Ares tab, Ares deck. So, oh, of course, yeah. I'm on about 2k rage. I'm thinking they just have Stugs. I'm going brain dead. Yeah, the Tigers. They've just got Tigers, not Stugs. So we've got, yeah, two in A and a leader, leader Tiger as well. And then four in B. Jagdpanzers will be doing some boxing as well. So, yeah, this... The Panthers can try and take these things out. But the Tigers can deal with the Panthers as well. So it's going to be... I think the Panthers are generally a bit better. Pumpkin, always nice to have these things, especially where there's lots of cover on the map. He's not gone for the National, he's not gone for the Pack 43. Thinks his Tigers can handle it. Infantry, in CQC, I think this is just better all round. Uh, Forcing Pioneers, they've got better... Better guns, six man. Uh, Sauce troop as well. Again, better guns, really, really solid. Then the Folsom Pioneer. Again, very good, nice guns. And then Folsom Jaeger, which are just generally good at every every range you can think of. He's gone heavy for Folsom Jaeger. 24 in B. That's all he's got in B. Just Folsom Jaeger, Folsom Jaeger. So that could be a bit of an issue. He's not opted for. The Oster Legionnaire to flesh out and be a, you know, just basically take some punishment, which I would prefer to do, to be honest. But if he keeps these hidden in the forest, he's just going to lose some to mortars and stuff, which is going to be a bit annoying. LG 42, essential piece of equipment. Uh, what else we got here? And of course, they've got the air. Great guns here. And these can also deal with um, tanks at long range. So, much better AA tab. 
and he's got more in the way of artillery here. Yeah, so those mortars, those could come in to help him. Yeah, luckily, in B, the Hummels and what else did the other guy have? Oh, the Werframen could do some nasty work on the Thousand Jaegers. Hmm, so it's looking, looking like it's going to be an interesting game. Oh, forgot about these things, they're nice. Very nice indeed. Anyway, let's get on with it and see what happens. All right, and we're off. Oh, 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 get on the right screen. Oh, there we go. All right, so what's going on here? We've got Ares on the left, dashing into this forest with a good amount of units. And Jimster, not so many, it's just some flamers. Looks like he's just looking to hold there and a pioneer as well. Panther coming up onto here, nice. Might be able to make a quick snipe up there. In the center, we've got Mm, just a couple of flamers coming in here to pressure. Stern Pioneer just coming into here. Nothing looks to be... Is there anything coming into here? Ah, yeah, so this, the Panzer Grenadiers are just coming into this area. In the north, a little... Setting up a little push. Kind of standard here. Yeah, Recon. Pack 40, Pioneer, a couple of flamers. MG up into the building straight away. The LG42 is probably going to wipe them. Or it looks... Like, oh, big push here, actually gonna get the MG42 unless Jimson notices and pulls it out of the building quickly. Stern Pioneers and Pioneer into this forest that that could be very telling. If you can move them up straight away now deal with these Flammenwerfer and get in here. Oh but the uh, bomber coming in devastating hit. He did manage to get eyes on that because where the LG42 was really nice start. Oh, and some more, the Felsen Pioneers come up into here as well. So Ares laying down the Lord at the start here. Two Grenadier coming down to take the center flag here as well. Looking pretty good. He's got a nice presence in this forest. These from Jim's are not going to last too long. He probably thinks that he's doing well here because he's got this flag. But as soon as these guys move forward, they're going to wipe him out completely. I like this position here. The Gorilla and the Panther Dav Clara I'm surprised is it just not in range if you can see this you could be able to take it out with the Gorilla which would be a really good take out oh early air combat Sagittario coming in it's going to take out the ME410 and there's another Sagittario coming in the same same model hunting him but looks like he's retreated this no AA out on either side as far as I can see. Oh, just the SDK I've said in the south here. And is that the is that the nice one? Oh, it's a, it's a 37, isn't it? Yeah, 37mm. Still decent. Any 37 AA, 37mm AA is good, really. So, these troops in here, they have survived. Looks like they're taking out the flamers here. They can't afford to step up, though. These MG42s will mash them to pieces. If he drops down some smoke and advances forward, he can definitely take this flag. But yeah, easier said than done, but I can see everything and he's got nothing here to back him up. Desperately needs, I think he needs to put a unit into here or somewhere into this building. Definitely needs to put something into this town. Because if he loses all these, this is going to collapse completely. Yep, as, as I expected, the Flamers and the Pioneer are both wiped out. Moves back his SDK have said, right move the pack. Moving very far up here. If it's not careful, it might get sniped, but there's nothing to snipe at the moment. There's no armor in the in the southern position. Stern Pioneer coming in. Into the forest there. I assume that's just purely for defense. Could do with another unit up here to back up. This Alf Clara can see a lot, but it's not gonna hold the line at all. It's another Stern Pioneer coming in, same position. But it might be enough to hold. Because very often people do invest a lot of points here. And sometimes it can be a bit of a waste. But there's a lot of points invested in the south by both players. Panzergren holding his flag quite securely. 12-12. Not a lot going on. Oh, this is a problem. He's not laid down the smoke. So his units have been wiped out. He needs to retreat his pioneer. Or just move him back. Yeah, good move. Good move. Really needs to do that got to hold these flags in the north 
he's lost his Pioneer and his Flamers. I'm not sure exactly what took him out. Sauce Trooper coming in as well. Looks like he's going to secure his flag. Nice move here. There's no AT on this unit. SDK have said, but it's going to get taken out if it doesn't move it. Ugh. If he got it right into the forest, it would have been really nice there. Desperately need some units into this part. Pack 40 covering the road. Very nice. And Jim says managed to sneak a flag in the centre here. Yeah, it's a nice spot to sneak flags around here. So and here we see first big piece from Ares. The Tiger's coming out. Where's he going? Bringing it all the way around. Very aggressive. So this packs 40. Could deal with that quite smartly. MG42 unloaded by the sniper. It's pack 40. He's going to get. Ooh! Nice save there. Very nice save. Desperately needed to do that. Keep his pack 40 alive. Now the Tiger. Is he still keeping it going here? He could lose that Tiger. Panzergren in the centre now. He's lost that flag. And on his own, he's not going to be able to hold off all of this. And now Ares is on 1311. Ares definitely looks like he's got the, the best start of the game here. Very thin from Jimster in the north. And generally thin across the map, I would say. Some Stern Pioneer coming in now. Fast movement here is a danger. You must realise that the LG42 can snipe him if he comes over the bridge. Just unloading him into these buildings. It's a defensive measure. The Griller doesn't want to be poking his nose out too far. The Tiger can snipe it. Oh, he has recalled there's a Pack 40 up there. Pack 40's unfortunately not getting last, last shot. Didn't get any pens there. And the fighter comes in to strafe it down and stress it out. More Stern Pioneer and Jäger coming in too. I think this is going to be dealt with. Oh, he's lost his plane and a head on. Unlucky. It's like 50-50 basically. LG42 laying down some punishment here. That Pioneer squad is going to be obliterated unless he retreats it. Oh, and it's obliterated by the fighter anyway. Yeah, these do dish out a good amount of damage. And a close air support can do some good strafing runs there. Pioneer is in the forest, managed to sneak this flag, but around the back. And good choice here, he has retreated it, thinking I can't deal with what's coming through here. This is where he would need some kind of artillery, and he doesn't have any in A to lay down some punishment here. But in three minutes' time, he should be able to bring something out. That is how you want to be dealing with um, Falcon Jaeger as well. Jack D Panzer IV coming onto the field. Very bold putting it this far up. This pack 40 might be repositioning to over here shortly. SDK have said coming in for a recon. And this has been spotted. Yeah, he must have spotted it with his machine guns there. Spotted on also, he just retreats them back into the forest, keep them safe. Still hold on to the flag. Stern Pioneer, yep, yeah, good. I was just thinking it's Stern Pioneer coming into here. These Stern Pioneer into these buildings, looking fairly okay. Uh, Panzer III's moved up here. And the Gorilla, the Gorilla. Ah, that pack's been dealt with, so you can imagine I'm going to see the Tiger moving up. Yep, straight away. We'll be able to take out this Gorilla. And the entire north is collapsing here. Sagittario coming out a bit too late there. But Fuck Wolf Bomber coming in to deal with whatever else is in there. And is he targeting his own... <laughs> looks like he's targeting his own man. <laughs> that can't be right. He's going to blow up his own guy. Really? What happened there? I guess it just didn't fire. He must have just clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, now he's now he's tagged his third pioneer. Can you actually target your own men in this game? I don't think you can. But it looked like it was targeted onto his own man. Anyway, that's a bit weird. 12-12. So Ares 
definitely looks like he's been getting a bit of the trade here. Fuck Wolf Bomber coming in. Gets rid of Stern Pioneer, so nice kill. But I don't think these guys are going to last too too long. Is this retreating? Yep, yeah, so it should be fine. SDKFZ coming up round the back. Good choice there. Don't want to get backdoored. I want this SDKFZ. This is a proper one. Yes, the flak veiling on the back does a ton of damage. Needs to keep this protected. Moving up quite a bit far here. Neither player, if I recall from the last game, they wasn't using much artillery either, was there? No mortars. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different game. But some mortars in here could do some nasty work. He's not got any... Um, he's got the radio mortars on a first Falcon Jaeger, but there's no radios on the field at the moment. No leaders from either side here. Yeah, leaders are usually usually see them in these forests, so it stops things getting surrendered so quickly. So these stern pioneers to get pinned to get surrendered almost instantly. But the SDK have said he's in a nice position. These Faust Megas could possibly get up there. The Shrek could definitely deal with that, but clearly not quite got eyes on it from anything yet. He's just happy to hold his position. Alright, finally he's starting to reinforce more in this area. He wants to go for the forest. Just wants to get this flag back by the looks of it. Stern Pioneer could could move up a little bit further just to get this flag. And still getting 43 on one of the unicorn units. Weird looking thing. This could deal with the tiger, but it can't take many shots itself. Panzer III is in a really nice position, hidden behind the buildings here. He must have eyes on that. Yeah, so um, if he moved around his LG-42, he could probably snipe that. It's hard to say with the lines of sight on this game, though. Some of them are a bit off. Sternbinder is moving forward to take the flag. Instantly going to fall it back, though. Was in trouble. SDK have said coming up to support it. Will lay down some punishment onto this infantry. Toss Troop and Beretta's coming in. Now these are seriously deadly. 2.4 damage in close quarters. 150 meter range, so you can get get in here, can really deal with all these. Fuck Wolf Bomber coming in too, gets his bombs off. Flag 36. Hitting it a bit. He is retreating now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, LG42 has moved around and is firing on the Panzer III, but Panzer III might get away with it if he's lucky. It, ooh, it, surely he's going to get it with this round. Surely, surely, surely. Nice kill. Tiger might deal with that. Tiger might come out just at the wrong second here. The M43. Oh, nice hit. I think that Tiger's done for. Oh, got a bounce. One more. Looks like he's going to one more shot off. Is this going to be the killing blow? Another bounce. What's the chances of that? What is the chances of that? The AP on this is 170. Yeah, that was really unlucky. Really unlucky. It's definitely severely damaged. Surprised he didn't bring out the Panzer III as well, because at, at close quarters, this could probably get in a sneaky side shot and do some nasty work. Especially with the APCR. Only needs like one more hit on it, I'd say. Meanwhile, in and off. Falcium Jaeger doing Falcium Jaeger stuff. We'll be backed up by um, Falcium Stern Pioneer and uh, Sostru. Sostru Beretta doing some nice work, but it's just down to one hit point now. Guess we need some reinforcements up here. Panther A also on the field now. More Sostru coming in. Good idea. And the Sostri being very bold here. I don't think you realize how many units there are in this area. Could fall down. Going a bit too deep with it. And he's not having the flag either. Where's this Panzer IV going? Right round onto the road. Oh, nice snipe. Pack 40 gets a AA there. This Panzer IV is doomed if it goes around that corner. Either a flak or a, the Yagdi Panzer will deal with it. Or the Yagdi Panzer is just off the road. 
back to a 12-12. Very quiet in the south. And even if he loses his units, these troops try and go up this hill, the guerrilla will annihilate it. But there's no AA cover in the south either. Expect to see a piece up here. Oh, Verframen, where's he going? Alright, so he wants to deal with what's going on over here, or here. The Verframen, its range is not spectacular. Oh, JU-88, nice bombing run. But I think it's going to go down, yep. And I think he's going to get him out just in time. SDK have said is firing at him, but he should get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really push you here. The Tiger has gone down. The Stug M43 is alive. Got a Panther here. Panzer, Panzer 3L. Panzer 3M. Avclara. Stern Pioneer being a little bit bold here. Needs to drop the smoke and save themselves. Might be seeing some infantry rushed in in this area, possibly. Yep, just that. He's taking advantage of the situation. Moving in here too. Looks like he's going to drop the Wurfram on this forest and move in his Sos Troopin and Pioneers. Faust Maker is going to get close enough to get the Panzer Faust. Just. But he doesn't get the kill. Unlucky. Did it hit it? Or is it must have been a miss. Just stressed by the, the explosion. The range on these things, what is it now? It's not amazing, is it? 2,200, so... Yeah, can probably just about hit this area. But I've got a feeling he's going to just lay it down in this forest. Oh, Sostrupin coming in around here. I see, I see, I see. In the north, this is where the main action is at the moment. Pack 4 is deployed, Pumpkin has been deployed as well. This Pack 4 is going to knock out this Panzer 3 fairly soon. Does the infantry can get any time to save these? Needs to sort of unload them in this area, really. So he's lost it. His Panther's vulnerable, showing side armor now. Sniper's in there. This could be the most important part of the battle up to now, I'd say. Don't bring them all the way around there. Just drop them a bit early. The puncheon's not quite in range, I don't think. It's seven. Oh, it is. Possibly in range of the Alclara. Yeah. No. Or is it going for the Pioneers? Needs to unload these now. Now, 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 now. He's going to lose them both. That would be a disaster if he loses both of these. Unload, unload. Oh. That's actually good for him. He got unloaded by the SDK, I've said there. The next one. Good, 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 good can take them out, there's more coming in as well and a gorilla back in the centre still trying to push for this flag, needs to move these guys forward just to get the flag and Verfram is finally firing, where? he's going for the AA this could be a nice hit, nice takedown if he gets both of these AA pieces that would be great Ooh, he's retreating it back Got the sniper, got one of the AA pieces, the other one's mm, kind of lucky really, to say the least. And the LG-42 survived too with virtually no damage. Maybe took one man damage? Nope, nothing. That was very lucky. And Ares is still ticking as well. I think if I was Jimston now, I'd be wanting to put a pack out here somewhere quickly or even better up onto here, into this area. And we've got some mortar support in now, which is going to do some damage, I reckon. Pioneers falling back straight into the stern pioneers. Have we seen any artillery coming out yet? No, not as yet. All the focus is on the top half of the map for sure. He's got his flag back in the centre now, near the forest. The SDK has been taken out by the Panzerfaust, but Pioneers are moving in. Sostrupen. I don't know why he's walking them forward like that. They were in range to shoot their guns. Yeah, I think he's going to have to retreat these. They're not going to hold up enough. That's unfortunate. Sostrup trying to sneak this flag, but as soon as he spots this Yak D Panzer. Probably not going to want to move much further forward. It's 
nearly got the flag in the north now. SDK have said it is going to be taken out shortly. One of these fouls from Eagle is going to get it for sure. He's not going to be able to deal with both of them. The Pioneer as well probably needs to get into this forest really fast. Then he might have half a chance against these fouls from Eagles. By just stopping where he is. He has the flag at least. Panzer ground is. Not a bad position to unload. And where did that bombing run go? I'm assuming it came down here. Looks like it. These are all falling back. Mortars into play now. Oh, we've got two mortars in the centre. Two in the north. But now Jim is finally getting a tick back on him. 29 minutes remaining. He's precariously held, holding on to this. Another Alpha Claro Panzer III coming up and looks like it's going straight into his death here. Oh, that Tiger went down. How did the Tiger go down? Is this it? Well, clearly it's gone down to the Stug M43 or the Panther A, or probably a combination of both. Oh, was worth bringing that round. Got another SDK of Z out there. Still can't quite get back into this forest. Sauce through coming into here again, more. I think he could do with um, some Panzer Grenadier in this area and try and push and take this like it should be his, really. The position he's got over here. SDK have said, taken out now by the Jag Jagdi Panzer IV. These Sauce through should be retreating as soon as he can. Sagittario on Sagittario. Probably doesn't want to take that fight. Yep, looks like this guy's going to turn around, turn him straight over the AA. It's going to take him out, I think. JU88 coming in, where's he going? Nowhere at the moment. What's he doing with this? Is he going for the bomber? He's going for the bomber. SDK have said, might. Yeah, I think he's going to repel him just in time. And this, this is going to go down for sure. Yeah, very unlucky there. So James, they're winning out in the air. At first it looked like he was losing the air battle. Now he's doing much better. More pioneers coming to this forest. Surely he's going to get this now. Still no leaders. Do they not have leaders in their deck? Oh, there's, there's a leader there. Could really do the leader up here, especially in this building. That would be perfect. Hummel on the field now. Not sure why. What's he going to be going for? Maybe to deal with some of these mortars. In the south, Ares looks like he's completely forgotten about this clump of units here. LG42 having to go at the pack. The pack has just got out of harm's way by the looks of it. But he is firing on position, so he might get rid of Blast. Nope, not quite, not quite. And finally, has he got his flag? Finally, 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 yeah, these pioneers, they're going to take him out. He's trying to get surrender on one at least, is that going to work? Surely that's not going to work, no, 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 no. So 14-10 now to Jimster. One more flag and get a double tick. Oh, what's getting in there? What was that? Oh! Jack D. Panzer IV and a Tiger here now. Still getting 43. He's moved it up. I don't know why he's done that. You want to keep it further back? The famo's in here as well. That can that can do some work at AP as well. So all three of these firing. I think they're gonna win out. Prioritizing a tiger. Tiger's down. Oh, he's got a good pen onto the Panther, but he's still alive. It survived. Very nice. Uh, that's where the famo can come in fairly handy. When you're supporting your your heavy armor with these things, they can also help out a little bit, killing out, killing tanks and such. Because generally, yeah, automatically, the armor will fire at the highest millimeter frontal armor it can find, unless you manually direct the fire yourself. So, yeah, something to keep in mind there. It does work out. Panzer three being a bit bold, moving up here, I'd say. No movement made in this... Oh, oh, he's doing it. 
attack move order, attack moving forward, this SDK of Zed will maybe do a bit of work here. If you take out that Falsum Eager, that'll be a big win. These are going down though, I'm short of it. Oh, he has managed to fall it back in time. Has he spotted this yet? This is where the gorilla might help him out a ton in this Alf Clara. So if they start trying to move onto this hill, the gorilla should hopefully have enough firepower, enough rate of fire to deal with it. We'll soon see. In the north, lost his flag, but he's still got a single tick. He's been very bold, but he's pioneers moving across the open. The pack 40 is going to likely repel some. Little punching coming in, but it's it's not quite in range to do what it needs to do. Down south. One stir pan is barely survived. Can he survive a little bit longer? Nope. Molotov is off on him. He surrendered. But this gorilla will cover any advance onto this hill, but you can definitely see this moving. See the front line moving a lot. The LG42 cannot hit at that range. So opportunities to be had in the south for sure. In and off, we are back to a 12-12. Oh, the flag has been lost again in the center. Still, of oh, the Hummel, is it going to be starting to lay down some pain? No, it's firing all the way over here into this forest. Firing into here with the Hummel would make the most sense. I think maybe he was doing that before by the looks of it. Oh, we've got two Hummels. They're both firing into this forest. But the Gorilla is doing its job there. Pioneer coming into here as well, just to hold the flag a bit longer. Nice. No more movement. In the north, the battle's still going on. Falsum Jaeger is no match for any kind of armour, obviously. And could he possibly be out with Tigers? He's used a few of them. He's definitely only got... Was it three? So he definitely, maybe. Is it three Jagdpans? Or do you have two? He added them at one star. I think he just had two, so this is the last one he's got out. Tigers? I can't recall how many he had. But we've only seen one Panther. And there's definitely more Panthers on the side of Jimster. So are we going to see a grind here? Jimson might have the advantage now. Both the Hummels on the field as well. There's no Artie coming out to counter this at the moment. And where are these things firing? Oh, he's just looks like he's got defensive fire in this area. It's going to cause all sorts of problems. And I imagine Jimson's going to get a single tick on again. He's like a fraction behind at the moment. But still plenty of time left. 22 minutes. But if he breaks the north here... I think we could see him sweeping around and taking this entire area, possibly. But there must be another tiger somewhere, surely. Are these mortars been firing? Not, not by the looks of it, not a lot. Fuck Wolf Bomber coming in. He's assuming that this SDK has been, been stressed out enough, but it's still there, it's still going. Will he get his bombs off? Nope, not quite. Very nearly. Will he go down? I don't think so, no. I think he's got enough to get out. Yes, it's just the, the single 37mm at one star. It's not quite going to take him out. He did fly close enough to it, but yeah, he's he's battered, but he's okay. Another worth ramming coming in. Did you want to get picked off? I guess it must have. I'm assuming a bomber must have got that or something. Yeah, holds a forest now here, but can't really go much further. Any attempt to go up the hill, the gorilla will have him. Not seeing any more tigers. Ju88 getting a nice load off onto this. That's going to be devastating. He's tried, tried to get it out of the way, not managed. Unfortunately, loses the leader. That's the last thing you want to lose in that position. We're going to see an advance. Now will be the time to move these units forward into this forest. Potentially cutting it off forever. Oh, Panzer IV advanced really far up here. 
pack 40 is going to smash that to pieces the gorilla likewise should deal with the pack 40 it must be firing on it by now yeah that pack 40 is soon to be gone panzer 4 pays the price though but yeah now when the gorilla hits that's out bye bye really nice move by Jim in the north I can only assume Ares is out of Tigers I thought he had more did he double vet them all or something I didn't actually pay much attention yeah so there's two three three Tigers there surely he had more than that he definitely had he had a leader Tiger and some more Tigers maybe just can't afford it he needs to save up for one now. Although against all of this firepower, maybe he's making the right choice. It's probably not a good idea to try and do that. But putting a tiger in the south or into the centre position here would probably have a lot more luck. Not that he knows this is up here, I think. Has he spotted this? Probably not. Panzer 3 goes down. He's lost the flag in the centre here. Mortify coming down to this forest to finish off whatever's in there. We're back to the 12 12. He is definitely neglecting the centre, but it looks like, yep, some Panzergren's coming in to help out. Jack D Panzer IV has moved up, but if this, this pack is now coming back out to see what it can see, Verframen. Oh, really nice. Yeah, Wurfram definitely beats Mortars in terms of pain and damage. The Mortars are going to fire down again. And this Hoss Trooper, unfortunately, is going to walk straight into them. But he has got a single tick now. Just needs to get ahead on the tick. Not much more coming into Reinforce the North. Just one more Panzergren in a half track. Half track will help out a lot coming around here. And Ares looks, yeah, not in the best position, to say the least. Nice bombing run coming in here. So one, one thousand kilogram bomb, and he's got the flag back. Fourteen ten now. We do see some counter battery finally on the field. The Geb one hundred and five, not the best rate of fire, but it's it's fairly decent for the points it cost. It's, it's okay, it's okay. But just one of them alone... Ah, oh, oh, there we go, there's two. <laughs> and say one of them alone is not so good. But two of them on counter battery. Would do some work. And we do see another Tiger in the north. I think he just needs to put... Not, he's been very ambitious with this again. I think putting it around here in a defensive position would be the best bet. Mortar's laying down some hell on this unit here. Might be able to get the flag back. And he is just ahead. Oh no, he's no he's oh sorry, he's red, isn't he? Yeah, he's just behind, so he needs to get a single tick himself now, at least. It's fifteen minutes to go. Much, much closer game. I say in the first game I think um yeah, Jimster didn't know what he was up against because he had nothing to deal with the Panthers, sadly. Another Panther coming into coming into the centre, actually. Where's he going? Up onto the hill. There's a decent chance this might get sniped by the Yagdi Panzer IV. But he does have eyes on it, so if he can get up there and get the shot off before he gets spotted, we'll be able to deal with it, especially this close. Furframen setting up to fire and he's going for the Jag Jagdi Panzer Ford as well. So it looks like he's going to fire on this, then bring the Panther up, side shot at it if it's retreating. He's not making any kind of grab for these flags just yet. But he's definitely in the commanding position. And what happens there?
Yeah, Aries taps out. Yeah, he was down a fair bit. 1,100 points. Well, good game from both. Really close battle. I really thought Aries was going to take that, actually, at first. But nice comeback. Very nice comeback. Just throwing away all those Tigers in the north. That was, that was pretty devastating. Alright, let's have a look here. Who's got all the kills? Got the Panzer IV, some nice work. I got the work from it, oh my god, how? How did it get sight on that? I missed that one. Oh, strange. Falsam Jaeger doing their usual stuff, just mopping up everything. Extremely dangerous units. And the pumpkin, oh, it did get the Panzer. Oh, the Panther A in the end. Oh, is that the one right at the start, actually? Must have reinforced with another one. Fuck Wolf Bombers. I know Sil's getting some decent kills. He had three units, that's good. Panther A, three Tigers. Pack 40 and a Pubchen. That is phenomenal. Stug M43. Whenever I use these, they usually just die instantly for some reason. And just keep missing, but did work for him this in this match for sure did lay down a lot of damage onto the Tigers too got some pens off although it didn't get the finishing blow Sauce Troopin doing some nice work Famo Famo got two Tigers like I said they can be seriously good if you're backing up a heavy armoured push seriously nice piece of equipment but in terms of AA, not optimal to say the least. Werframm not doing a lot of damage. It's more of a psychological battle with these things. Alright, good game. So that's that. And yeah, so a draw overall. One win for Ares and one win for Jim's the Hacks. Let's see how it affects them towards their Green Arm Cup challenge. And bye bye.